Hey guys, I am Tina Cannon of Jade Acusis Designs of Nyana Birthing, and I am the owner of College Kids Social Media. So, I am an entrepreneur in marketing, fashion, seamstress. I also do manufacturing. I do birth work. I do a lot of things. And today's title of this here live. I'll also be doing a podcast on this subject as well, but how to do less ratchet business in 2020. As an entrepreneur, as a spiritual healer, like as all the things that I am, I was doing consultations today and different people come and I understand that we are a social age, but Facebook makes it really, really easy to contact people and that's good and bad based on that's good and bad based on what you do it's good because you can network with people all over the world it's bad because people that don't want to pay you also contact you and want what you spent a thousand hours trying to study and like your real business they want you to do real business on facebook but they don't have real budgets i want to teach people how to do less ratchet ass business so whether it's birth work, I'm also a birth worker. I am a doula. I am studying midwifery. I am also ex-military veteran. Um, I am a mom. I am an entrepreneur. I am a healer. I am one of those people that's like 12 people in one. But in all my walks of life, people who act, that ask me questions about business. How do you get started in business? What do you do? How do you run three businesses? Like These things, things are really, really simple for me because... I'm a natural strategist. And the one thing that I see where when we do business with one another is how we approach one another to do business. I don't have problems connecting with people, but remember, a fashion design degree cost me a lot of things. Free wasn't it. And also doing marketing cost me a lot of things, like the hours, the research. The reason why you hire people is three reasons. You hire people to vet them. Um, everybody energy don't go well with one another. So even professionally or even in relationships, friendships, all of those things, not everybody energy goes well with one another. So you want to vet the person that you want to do business with to see how y'all connect. One, who wants to spend 50 grand on something and I don't really like how you do business. I don't like how you treat yourself. I don't like how nothing about you. So the consultation, the reason why I tell people to book a consultation and to pay to book a consultation, even if you're bartering, like for startups, if you know you don't have 50 grand to throw on a collection, hey boo, hey Lakiva, hey Lucina, and hey Lee, look girl, don't make me do this name, Nishatu, I love your beads, but the reason why you talk to people and see what their head is like, because if you're spending 50 grand on a photo shoot, you want to make sure the photographer is right. You want to make sure these models not drunk and high. Like, if I spend 50 grand on a model and she don't show up because she, I'm going to be two sides of hot. So you want to vet people to see, do you show up on time? Like, if I hire an intern, you want to know that the intern going to show up. So you vet people who have experience in being an executive officer, being a virtual assistant, you vet those people to say, okay, what's your budget? Okay, if you're a startup business and you're trying to promote, move your business from hobby to more professional, you want to make sure your paperwork is together. You want to make sure you have a team of at least one other person. Um, I run three businesses and it's really just me and the person that I hire to do my virtual assistant. My virtual assistant helps me with content creation. Sometimes that I show them, but see, for me, I teach people as well as hire. So if they don't know and it's somebody I know that needs a job or want, like I'm really, really big on creating things in the community because I know what it looks like for a family not to be able to afford to da 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 da. So if I teach you how to start businesses and how to do professional business, like don't approach people in the inbox and saying, hey, um, I want you to make a whole bunch of this and I don't want to pay you for your time. A basic consultation with somebody can run from $25 if they're just starting out. Sometimes you can book somebody for a consultation for $10 an hour if they're just starting. But have a budget in mind. After you vet this person and you look at their pedigree, you can check them out. You notice somebody that you want to braid your hair, do your real estate, make your prom gowns, 
or whatever the professional service it is that you're doing. A lot of people around here have parties. So if you're booking a caterer, is they food good? Is they house clean? Like if they if it's somebody to bake out their house, is they house clean? Like those are real things because if you have them and you're spending, let's say to book the civic center out here is 1100 That ain't, unless you come from families that just got money laying around, if you're starting out in business and you're trying to do stuff on your own, sometimes 1100 is like, how many books do I need to sell? How many dresses do I need to sell? How many clients do I need to have within this month? So if you're going to another person, know that they got bills, please. Like know that their time is not free. Even if it's something as simple like, can you babysit? Um, don't nobody want to watch your kids for free, first of all. Uh, everybody like, everybody assume that people, just because you like kids, don't mean that you always want to spend all your time babysitting. If you gonna, if you got me babysitting Nook Nook and Peanut, then let's talk about making this a child care effort or let's do some homeschool things or set it up so that if you're going to go and make seven grand, can I get paid at least a grand a month for watching your children and, I, and you know I'm going to feed them and, and all of these things. Same thing with somebody that braids your hair or changes your tires. These people have to take out of their lives whether they have families, even if it's a 17-year-old, he has to be away from something that he would much rather be doing to paint your, your photos or to do your artwork or whatever it is that you do that you want to do for your money. Vet people who you work with. Make sure they straighten on the up and up. Like It's basic things, but it's just really how we raise. Like Some people just weren't raised well. Some people just not clean. Like Some people just not honest. So you have to deal with with the people that where they at and the reason why you spend money even if it's fifty dollars an hour think about how long this person been to school to figure out the things that they you want to go in their inbox and just because this shit free and you want to go in their inbox like hey show me how to fix a car fam like I ain't got no tools i ain't even got no budget fam but help me help me uh take the transmission out my car hmm? how long is it gonna take me to figure out how much does the transmission cost how much does the tools cost that I need? Do I have all the tools? Who do I need to help me? Because sometimes when we hire people for project, it's more than just snapping your finger, snapping your fingers and just to being done. Somebody wanted, a, 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 and this happens all the time from birth work. And you hear me saying, like, if you read my post, I, that shit be real. Somebody, I'm a doula, and a doula helps you basically. I keep you calm and keep you focused on what it is. I believe in holistic and natural birth, period. So, but if you have to have a C-section, let's go into the things, what that looks like. What what does that look like if you say, okay, well, you can't keep your blood pressure down. You're not going to eat. You're not walking. You're not drinking water. All the things that will help have you to be able to push and do these things and all of that, sometimes these moms really don't know. Um, I tell women all the time, you have three holes, not being vulgar. You have three holes, not two. And you have to know how to keep your body clean. You have to know how to keep your mind clean in order to do business with people. Because some people show up trite. Some people show up trite, but they have a brilliant mind. So it's like, how can I get you to do better business? How can I get you not to show up smelling like you just had a party? Like if you're going to party all night and still try to have a business, how can you still show up so that you at least making sure your your stuff done? <laughs> oh, excuse me. But how can we make sure we're paying one another? There is nothing more aggravating than somebody coming to you for you to spend 50 hours on something of theirs that they didn't even take the time to Google. That ain't even no joke. I can't even laugh about that shit. Like. Some of this stuff we go to other people to solve for us is as simple as Googling. You want to know how much fabric costs? Google. You want to know how much a doula costs? Google. So that you don't go and ask somebody to leave their family or leave something that they care about to come and help you with your problem and you won't even Google? And you don't have no money to pay nobody? No and no and no indeed. No matter what it is, even when we go to the church, we, is, we still pay tithe and offering. You pay that man to be there to sit there and study the word. You pay that woman to be there to speak in tongues and make sure they channeling messages for you. You pay that woman to do your hair because a person that, let me tell you something. A person who is in your head and fix your food, you should always make sure they got whatever they need. First of all, if I'm in your head, right, and people don't think about this. All your thoughts sit here. All your blessings sit here. This is where 
and even in babies, this is the baby's uh, soft spot. You got to be careful with this alpha right area right here because too loud of a song to the wrong energy, if you bump it too hard, hey, love, you have to be careful about who in your head. Like, that applies to business, too. So people who are in chaotic situations all the time, you can tell by how they do business that it be janky. Like, you're a janky person. So we have to be careful about how we're approaching other people to do business with them. Not everybody's a good fit for me. First of all, if you feel some type of way about paying me for my education or the stuff that I had to pay and spend time to learn, you are already somebody I don't want to deal with because everything with you is going to be one-sided. That's from gate. That's from, from a jump. I don't need no degree to tell you that. If you don't feel like my time is worth it, remember, every breath we take is valuable. Sometimes some of these times and moments that we're missing, we don't get those moments again. So really when you're in business, you're saying, I want you to pay me so that I can live so that you can live. Like in business, if the is proper business, the girl that does my braids or the girl that keeps my locks together, the girl that makes my hair wraps, the girl that makes my beads, the lakes, the girl that does my lip gloss. Like that's a person behind it that I know and I really, really care about. So I know that if she's selling lip gloss, it's not gonna hurt me because at the end of the day, whatever's for me is for me. So you vet the person, you go and you discuss timelines. If you're looking to say, hey, I want you to throw a, um, let's say you start out your business and you want to have a, a grand opening. You need to think about the caterer. You need to think about the music, the lighting, who's going to take pictures. Like you have to think about all of those things. And if it's just you and you're trying to plan a party for even 30 people, sometimes you need somebody to help you with that. Okay, well, I know Miss Dot, she cater. So if I bring her two grand, she'll, I don't care what she cook me. That's something I ain't got to do. But that's what that's what happens when we do consultations and ticket sales. Like that's what that money goes to, to make sure everybody around us is eating. It's not just a. Anytime you see somebody successful, it's not just that one person. So it's rude as hell to come to somebody, even on Facebook, and be like, "Well, I want you to help me plan my wedding, but I got five hundred dollars." For how many people? Like it can be done, but you want me to. Make the gown, cook the food for that. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to need some more because, first of all, your wedding is in two days. Like, you know, you have to think about if you want something custom from somebody. Cake, gown, help them, helping you with birth, doing your hair and nails, whatever that is. It takes a certain amount of time. Like, my favorite nail tech is in Jackson. She does nails, and for a full manicure and pedicure, it might take her an hour. Both of them, she she do your little wrap on your nails. She makes sure you feel cool. Do a little, do a little aromatherapy. Like, she's a real cool thing. So, I'll pay her a bill just because I like her service. Right? So, the girl that braids my or, uh, the girl that braids my hair or my daughter's hair, when she takes that off my hands, of course, I'm going to pay you $80. Because I know that box braids to here are at least $80. Any, all that butt length stuff, you're going to have to come with some more money because... You know how tiring it is to sit here and do this all day? You get cramps. People that do braids like that all day get um, carpal tunnel. You have issues with your wrist like that. Cost me these people, they, especially people who stand up all day. You should always make sure they are right. Because they wearing their body down for you. People who clean your hotels. How dare you as people of color go in a hotel where you barely just got in there and then you throw your stuff on the floor for somebody else to clean up and you know they're not making no more than eight fifty? How dare you? Like, that's that's home training stuff. So you vet the people. This is all the information that you get in a consultation. You figure out your budget. You figure out who you're dealing with. You figure out how much a supply is going to cost. Like, you telling this person, hey, this is what we're doing when you're paying me. You're not just paying me, simple, hey. But you're not just paying a professional person just because they look pretty. No, you're paying them for their knowledge. You're paying them for the, what they learn. Business is the art of giving and taking energy, no matter what it is. Even if you say you're doing something for free, you're exchanging energy because you got to deal with that person. You want to support people who take care of your children. I wish the city that I lived in had a homeschool collective because there are so many people who are like old ex-teachers, ex-military people that can be teaching um sustainability, how to live off the land, how to grow your own food. Like these things that people that are my children's age need to know. 
you know, like how to grow your food, what, how to collect clean water, how to keep your body together, where are the priests and people to help people with mental... When you have people who are mentally ill, nine times out of ten they experience trauma and they're also very highly spiritual people. So they need a certain amount of love around them. Chaos is never good. So you want to vet people. You want to make sure you're talking to people with love and respect. You want to know how much do I need to spend. I'll be doing, so I told people for birth work, right? There are people who say they want to become a doula or a midwife. Um, a doula is a basically it, I'm a hype person for someone who is pregnant literally like if you want smooth candles however you look in your mind and say you know what when I get pregnant I want to get pregnant like this I say let's talk about who we getting pregnant with like when I understand that ADHD um, all these things where we see children are acting out in school all this stuff comes back to mom and daddy how was your mama mental status when she was thinking about your daddy. Was was your daddy like a playboy and broke a heart? Did she raise this child in a broken home? Did she have enough stuff to... I feel like I want to get a room of women and say, what's your skill? I'm going to show you how to start your own business. Like, And this is really how I sit down and talk to people. I don't do podiums or nothing like that. Like, we sit down and we talk like... I'm Ain't T your little sister. Everybody that calls me T. And it's people that I don't... I can't tell you how I know them, but they be like, T that. T, uh... How I start this? And I'll be like, oh, this is this. I'm a natural strategist. So being able to say, hey, I know that the churches in the area and the banks and all of these businesses have a certain amount of money, especially corporate money, have a certain amount of money that they have to spend within their own community. So if you're a cake baker and you can put together a proposal, that's really what this is. This is how to this is how you do stuff with business. You put your proposal together say, hey, I run a daycare and I'm going to have an after school program for little girls because I see little girls getting snatched up and they don't really have no good role models around. And there's a lot of foster kids and children that come from really, really violent backgrounds and teachers not really teaching. I'm not saying that all teachers, just hypothetically speaking, this, this is the proposal. I want to create a program that helps children with mental health that teaches them a skill, that also teaches their moms and fathers or parents or whoever's around them how to start businesses too. And that helps the community so people aren't, you know, struggling and people can know how to make their own money so they're not waiting for a check. You're waiting for a check, but not in that way. Like you're going out and creating because there's more than enough of everybody that want to start something. I've never seen so many people who are jealous. Like, for what? When I started out, people be like, how much you make? And I was like, I don't keep no secrets from people i tell you actually for birth i found out i talked to other doulas in the area and i said and i set my price because i know that i'm ex-emt so i was i worked on the ambulance i worked in er i worked as a surgical tech i also worked labor and delivery that was my military job for anybody who does not know um i also worked family practice and um work i was a pharmacy tech in tupelo and let's see what else like Everything that I've done has been in medicine or healing, right? So when I tell people that mindset is important, when I tell people that you can start your business, like when I found out an LLC or to incorporate my business was less than three fifty, like that's less than some people spend on their hair, real. That's less than people spend on their shoes. A pair of Jordans is $200. How I know because my children wear them. I was like, I'm not paying this man for those $250 shoes when I figured out that I can make my own shoes, like... Hold on, let's, let's talk about this. Let, let's talk about this. Because people always complain about the same thing, but people are so comfortable with someone else setting their standards. I know maybe 10, 20 black entrepreneurs. Let's see, there's one, two, I think there's about four on my feed now. James is one, he's a truck. I've known him all my life. Like, he's always been someone who's owned his own business. Sippo, she owns her business too. And I think Carolyn owns something too. But it's like, who does business? Nishatu is a doula. Like, when I say I like talking to people who understand that, hey, ain't nothing free. If you go in somebody's inbox and other than, hey, friend, how you doing? Anything other than when you start asking somebody how, that's when you should start paying them. Period. Because when you start asking somebody how, that how cost. It took them a certain amount of time to figure out how to drive a truck, how to back it up. How much it costs, how much it costs to buy your own. Like it cost them a certain amount of something to go and learn those things, or whether it they even if they went to like a trade school, it still cost them something, pay them people. 
So as a person starting out, it's like, well, how do you get started? You really just start. It's conversations. When you know, like, if you know somebody that is a driver and you need somebody to take you from here to Memphis, Uber, Lyft, all they did was put a name on something. They paid the LLC. Like, they made sure they had legit paperwork. You can start your own company. It's not as hard as people think. It's having the right conversations with the right people. But it all costs. Even if you get a DBA, a DBA is doing business as if you want to separate your personal, like if you out here just with no paperwork, if someone sues you, they getting all your personal shit. You don't want that. That's bad math. You want to have your business and your personal stuff separate so that just in case you got a hater and somebody try to sue you, you don't lose everything. Like you're not butt naked in the streets. You at least have a whole, your business is a separate entity. And that is very beautiful because when you switch from being a consumer to a producer of something, even if you produce some t-shirts, whatever the fuck you produce, put your name on it. I don't care. Put your name on it and put a price on it. Even if you charge a dollar a minute. So if it takes you 20 minutes to bake a cake, that cake at least needs to be $20. Because we go out here and we pay everybody else and, and we don't question it. But when it comes to doing business with people that's in your community, you expect them to do it free because you know they could. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, ma'am. No ham. No cheese. No turkey. That does not work because guess what? At the end of the day, Atmos is coming for their bread. Go to Atmos and tell them you just, I don't understand why I got to pay you. Go to Atmos and go to these Nordstrom and Stacks companies and tell them you don't understand why you got to pay them. You paying them for their time, people. You paying them for their time, fam. Like, it's a beautiful thing to be able to go to somebody and say, hey, I know you do beautiful work on gowns. I know that you are a beautiful person to, to help me with this. I have this. Like, come with something. Even for somebody who don't have a budget and you try to get, let's say you're a photographer. Take dope pictures. You just need somebody to model. Everybody in the city and their grandma is on Instagram. <laughs> Hey, let me shoot you. You can do this free. I shot a lot of the stuff that people been seeing like, oh, we love your pictures. That was shot on my iPad. iPad costs less than $500. That's two. Look, that's three sets of box braids. Some babysitting. Like, you better break that down to what makes sense to you. Business is not hard. For somebody who does makeup, I know a basic beat is $25. You can get somebody to beat your face for $25 that's just starting out. And you like their work. If they've been doing it more than a year, up your price. Because it takes time to sit here and contour and get all the wrinkles and all the no sleep. If somebody, Especially somebody who's an entrepreneur, you should always have at least some type of basic makeup skills. Because it's different lights make your skin look different. If you have any type of facial anything, being up under certain lights, it exposes all that. So knowing how to keep your skin clean is important. Knowing how, what companies make stuff for you. Like, it's all research. And if you're paying somebody else, that's really what you're paying them for. You're paying them for time, labor, and experience. So, let's see. I think that's... Y'all got any questions? Okay. So, I'm about to jump and do a podcast. And drop a couple tips there if you have questions, if you want to ask live to have your questions answered or even just pitch ideas. I will be doing a podcast on iTunes, Spotify, and somewhere else. And my website is www.jadakisses.com. I am currently scheduling for birth work. I'm also scheduling for photography sessions if you need your headshots and stuff done for your business or marketing plans, any of those things, um, need help starting your business, need help, um, or even looking to hire a coach, I will be taking two clients a month. And let's see what else. For the newsletter, that's on the website. Also, oh, so events for the month. I will be doing doula training in Oxford. If you're interested in becoming a doula, shoot me a message and I will give you all the class information. If you are interested in... Family night, I'll be doing family night out once a month because I feel like we should get out and do more things with our children and our families so I can actually meet faces and, you know, shake hands and hug babies and all that. So I think my thing for March will be going to skating. So I'll be doing skate night with kids, children, as my, my children don't like the word kids. Kids means goats, but 
I'll be doing a skate night with the children. So if you and your babies want to come out, if you can't skate, don't matter. My baby can't really. She used a handicap rail or whatever that little granny walker thing is. I don't know. But we'll probably do barbecues and all of that, like teach hunting and fishing and how to grow your own herbs more so in the spring. Oh, also um, herbs and stuff that grow locally. Like I notice how many people around this joint coughing and, eh, 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 and they keep giving them medicine and all this shit. Read some of the ingredients and stuff that you put in your mouth. Um, goldenrod go, grows locally. Goldenrod, um, you can make tinctures, teas, all that stuff out of there. Like, if we knew what grew locally and got back to talk to some of these elders that know how to grow, hunt, fish, and four wheel and all that, we wouldn't be as sick as we really are. So, cold and flu season, elderberry syrup, I'll be doing that. Delivering, I'll deliver to, I guess, I'll be in between here in Memphis, but. If you're wanting all these things, just type me a message and I'll drop it off on my way. Um, doula training, 15th and 16th. Helping babies breathe is CPR for birth workers who are actually needing CPR. And neonatal resuscitation. Mm -mm. Resuscitation. If you're needing that, you can also um, schedule that for the 21st. And I'll also be doing a meet the doula. If you want to know what a doula does and talk about conception and how to take care of your children herbal helpers like how to like really like real for real raise families and conception how you want to birth what birth options are hospitals in the area um just stuff that people i feel like females and not just women sometimes we talk about men and depression and why men don't really go to doctors i'm not if you need to go to a doctor go but learning like some of this stuff is really what we're eating and the mindset and how we're doing business like um, just studies show that nurses out the gate, nurses that go and work in hospitals, like all that bullying and I'm the senior nurse and you know, all that, all that, that we deal with in life. Like they switch their jobs within the first six months. And if we know how to do business with one another, if we all are making money, like in our own respective areas. If we know what safe conception or healthy conception is, if we're knowing how to deal with one another, contracts, conflict resolution, how we're getting pregnant, natural con natural family planning. But in family planning, we're planning our futures. Like, where are we going to be in the next seven generations based off how we're doing now? If everybody's expecting free business, then you should at least be bartering service with someone. You can babysit somebody's children. Like, sometimes helping a mom out showing them how to do things or showing them how, hey, you don't have to have... Some of these C-sections can be avoided. Let me just say that. And it goes back to how do you feel about yourself? How are you doing in life? Can you make your own money? If you can make your own money and have, even if it's a hobby, right? If you can do your own thing and you're happy, you have less time to be hateful and spiteful and, you know, those things. So I wanted to show women how to do better business. I wanted to show, show children, like I really like dealing with children. So... I'll have stuff where I'm meeting the parents and meeting the children and saying, hey, you have a business you're trying to start. You have a book you're trying to write. Let me help you. You want to you want to model? Let's do shoots. Like, I do so many things, and it's like, why not use the community resources, literally? Like, we go to colleges and spend 50 grand for a semester, but you won't talk to the people that's in your community that fix your car. Those people have a book. They have a class. They have something that they could be charging for. That you know, they don't have to be a shade tree mechanic all their life. They can actually open up a shop where it's like a chain. It's not hard. It's really just being able to connect with people that you vetted that know. You know, hey, this is the time frame. Here's what we have, and it's being able to exchange information and energy amongst people. So that's what I wanted to do. Like have a mixer for women and children, their spouses, like people who just, community people. Let's talk about birth. Let's talk about business. Let's talk about mindset because it's all one thing. So those are the events that I have. Those are my three tips on how to do less ratchet business 2020. Like let's actually be more professional and whether it's birth work to pharmacy like let's actually pay for people's time there are local farmers here like if we actually utilize the community things food pantry bakers caterers people that you know they have 
you know, lawn and garden services, somebody that you know that sketches or does really well, or someone who's very, very beautiful and hiring, hiring them to start your business, to work on your marketing plan, to plan out your events and projects. Like I'm booking out until April and I'm really trying to book like my whole, I really try to book something for every month and already have my months planned and all of my, all of my open slots closed. Um, birth work, I'll be doing two of those a month. And um, as far as marketing and branding, I will be doing those. Like if you're needing help with your marketing and branding to give people numbers of what these things look like, like that's the things that I do when I do one-on-ones and personals, like the lives and stuff. It's just kind of really to drop tips and then, you know, see how we can actually meet up. But have also having webinars once a month to say, hey, well, I'm doing a mastermind with 11 people and all of these people have a specific niche and in each person they have something that they're needing to build in their business like for people who want to invest in their business those things can be done under two hundred dollars and it's like you have a coach not everybody can afford a five thousand dollar package not everybody can afford you know but when we think about how much money we spend or waste being consumers versus producers it's like, hey, we can't really, if you can't afford $200 for your business, what are you doing? And you should be around people who are teaching you. If you are someone who doesn't want to have a C-section or you want to have love and support and you don't understand everything, like there are people who actually sit around and study birth. Literally, I'm studying this book right here. <laughs> a medical dictionary. And I go through it literally to go front to back on things that I need to know, words that I need to know so that when I'm helping someone as a birth worker or a doula, I know how to speak doctor and I know how to speak street, you know, or saying, hey, you know, someone wants to, even for my sewing books, I keep so many books around. The reason why is because as a business person, you should always be looking to invest in your business. You want to know how to do better marketing logos. You want to know how to get better lighting. You want to know how to get better packaging. How can you get uh, marketing or shipping cheaper? How much can you market an ad for on Facebook? Like if you are someone starting out, right? And I'm really, really truly about to go. But these are the things that you vet. And these are the things that you do when you're trying to do professional business. You do your research because the more that you learn, the more that you earn, like readers truly are leaders. The more I read Every class that I take, like breastfeeding awareness or the breastfeeding update was an all-day class, but there was a price associated to that to for in order for me to study and be able to help a mom with breastfeeding or help someone because I haven't did none of that in such a long time. So you have to stay on your P's and Q's. You have to, as a seamstress, I have to know what tools are out or what the trends are for the year. So when I have different types of clients, I can say, oh, this year, I'm doing a collection on these top trends, but these are the main, based on my research, these are the things that people are wearing. Everybody is wearing the see-through stuff, jumpsuits, everybody's going to be wearing prints and floral for spring up until fall, even fall. You're still going to be wearing a lot of prints, textures, all of those things. So whether I take those skills, those are skills that I can take from marketing. Those are skills that I can take into birth work and the skills that I can also take in, in fashion. So when you have one stone that you know how to do and you hit three different birds, that's how we want to start doing business. That's how successful people do business. You don't always have to be grimy. Like, you know, an artist hire. Hey, how much it costs? How much? Hey, I'm going to bring you a pack of canvases, some acrylic paint, and I want you to paint. Like some people say what they don't have, but if you really, really look at it, we pay for everything that we want. So, all right, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed the tips. And I think I'll probably jump on maybe, I could jump on once a night. I'm a night owl. Normally, I do my lives during the day, but I think this is a better time for me. So join me Monday through Friday at whatever, 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> but join me at 9 p.m. Central Standard, and I'll be dropping tips on marketing, mindset, and fashion trends. For the podcast, I'm on iTunes for the website. It is listed in the description box, wherever one of those. And if if you need anything, have questions or tips, hit my inbox. But just know when you ask how, that's a fee. All right, guys. Peace.